Howdy. Welcome to Coffee with Dawood. I wish you guys had a great day and doing great. Anyway, let's talk about how you can make your credit score go up the fastest way. I'm going to tell you guys something. First of all, it's not that easy that you think and don't buy this bullshit shit that people they are selling you out there. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'll never sell anything and I'm not a financial advisor. So let's get this clear. But before we do anything, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and don't miss anything. But let's talk about credit score. So the best credit score, forget about 800 plus, that's all bullshit. Because that's not going to do any good for you if you don't have the financial to back it up. So the best credit score is going to be between 760 to 790. Uh, so to achieve that, it all depends on where you are. So if you are like in a range of a 500, I have news for you. That's going to take you about a year and a half to do it. Depends on your situation. Let's say if you don't have any credit card. If you don't have any credit card, it's going to be much easier to build your credit versus if you have a credit card. Remember this. If you have a credit card and you're behind, it's going to be harder to make the credit score go up. So, this is how you do it. Number one, you do, if you don't have a credit card, you go apply for a secure credit. And it's going to, most of the banks, especially like BAV and Wells Fargo, will give you a secure credit for like $300, $500 line, but you do make a deposit that amount. You keep paying till six months till they give you a credit card. After they give you a credit card, you need to be very responsible. Credit card must, if you want to get a high credit score, you must be very responsible. It means if you don't have money, don't spend it. Number one, I am totally against credit card, owning it, having a credit card, but at the same time, you have no choice. You have no choice in this country. It's forced, they force you to do that because it's a banking system and that's how they make money off of you. So, if you get a credit card, spend it, and if you're account is due on the 10th of the month don't wait to pay on the 10th of the month pay on the 7th of the month so when your statement goes up goes out it shows zero that's called credit utilization so what it means is let's say i have a credit card i have three credit cards one is two thousand one is three thousand one is 5000 that total of $10,000 if i have bill, I, if i jack up the whole credit card to so 9000 i have let's say i only have 10% utilization left that's a bad thing to do it has to be reversed so on a $10,000 credit limit you should not owe more than $1000 if you want a higher credit so what you do is Pay it on time before the statement date. After the credit card statement goes out, they will report the history to the Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Normally, Equif uh, TransUnion and Equifax, it's a little bit, it drags for the reporting on those, but the Experian, the same night, all the credit cards that if when you when the statement re goes out they will report it to the experience and the most important one out there is actually experience 
Uh, and I think actually soon Equifax will be gone and it will be only TransUnion and, Equ uh, and Experian. So, but what you do is pay it on time, spend as little as possible. You don't need to spend more to build credit. So don't think you have to spend $10,000. You can spend at as little as seven, eight hundred dollars. But as I, as I said in the beginning, if you are not going to use your credit card for anything emergency, don't own one. I'm, I actually think it's not a good idea. But, you know, I'm guilty as charged, I do have credit cards and I use it for my business. So I have no choice on that one. The minute I don't have a business, I'm not going to have any credit card because I don't need to have it. So uh, I got so excited about this. In about six to nine months, your credit score keeps going up. To get to 770, it's going to take you about two years period to get there. And at the same time, um, like Experian has a feature that you can pay them $25 a month. They will connect you to your bank account. So shows you are paying your electric bill, your water bill, your phone bill on time. I recommend not to do that. Do not give these guys a penny, not even a penny extra. It's a bad idea. I don't want to be a stingy guy, but I wouldn't do it. You know what? I have experience and it's free and I don't pay them anything because I don't care what they do. As long as I do my side, pay my credit card bills on time, that's all it that matters. You know, Experian is going to try to get to subscription model, which is $25 a month for nothing. So, guys, first, no credit card if you don't have to have it. If you want to have a credit card, by all means, get a credit card, but be responsible. Be responsible, pay it on time paid before the statement going out so you can build a really good credit score. And don't go with this nonsense of 815, 800. Not many people, they have that. And really the banks, they don't care about that one. As long as you are over 760 seven, to 790, you'll be approved on the spot for lots of stuff except the mortgage that one is a little bit different because they're going to need your income verification all of those things but if you have a 760 770 you can go buy a car in a matter of a snap you don't even need to worry about anything anyway i wish this was uh, enough explanatory and i wish you guys enjoyed it but have a good time. As usual, coffee is very important. And I this is my like five or six coffee. And we'll be chatting again. Thanks a lot for watching. Ciao.